in this video I have a haul from Craftelia to share with you. They've been having this big sale over the month of July just with lots and lots of discounted items and a little competition as well. You get little uh, scratch card things, they're doing a crafty lottery. Fortunately, didn't win. I've already scratched them off I'm afraid, but their face didn't win. This is quite a long haul, so get yourself a cup of tea, or if it's still as roasting as it is today, a nice cold drink. And yes, what I will say as well is not all of this stuff is mine. Me and one of my besties, Alice, got together and ordered together so that we could get the free postage. So yes, I will like tell you which is mine and which is Alice's, but um, I'll just grab things at random for the most part. I have, unfortunately, as well, had some problems with this order. I will talk about that when I come to them. I have got in contact with Craftelia. I rang them. Um, they said I had to email them some pictures and stuff. So I have done. I haven't heard back yet. Um, if I do by the time, like I have time to insert it into the video, then I'll let you know. If not, then as I know if and when the problem is fixed, I'll just add it to the description box or in a pinned comment or something. But as I said, we'll talk about that when I get to it. So jumping straight in, this first item is mine. This is the Pink Paisley Take Me Away old collection now. A roller stamp, I'm a bit obsessed with my roller stamps at the moment, you may have noticed, but yes, I will just show you what is on the back there, what is involved in this roller stamp. I probably won't use this one, admittedly, that says all the colours, because the colours is spelt in the American way without a U, and I just, I can't, I can't do it, I'm sorry, I'm just too British for that sort of thing, so. But all the others are very, very lovely. I especially like these little floral cluster kind of things so yes pick that up I'm gonna say as well I'm not gonna tell you the price of every single item just because it's gonna take me forever to find it on the invoice and stuff let's just say they were all really really good prices not one thing I ordered was more than like three pound fifty and most things were around the two pound mark and then obviously the papers were like 60p each so you get the idea so the next thing is this pink paisley moonstruck six by six paper pad this is one of the collections, I should have said this, when I did my Q&A recently, somebody asked, um, is there a collection that you always wanted bits from and never got it or whatever? I should have said Moonstruck. I have two papers from it, I think, and I just don't have anything else, and I think it is the most gorgeous collection. I mean, papers like that and that, I just think it's utterly stunning, and now all I have is like two papers and this one six by six paper pad because it's just impossible to find any other bits, but I just think it is stunning, so couldn't resist picking that one up. This is one of Alice's pieces, she got a lot of stuff from the Amy Tangerine Sunshine and Good Times collection, so you'll be seeing a fair amount of that, but this is the Puffy Stickers pack, very, very cute. I got myself three washi sticker booklets. Um, I thought this one was the same size of, as these ones, so I'm quite pleased that this one was big because it was the same price kind of thing. Um, the first one is the Pebbles Tea Lightful collection. I have a couple of bits from this, so when I saw the washi book available online, I just thought, why the heck not? This last page in particular is so, so pretty. This last one is an Amy Tangerine. I am not sure what the collection is. I think it's quite an old one. This one's quite good though because it has two of each page. I don't know if that's on purpose or not, but I'm, I'm perfectly happy with it. Got some lovely gold foiling in there. I love this sheet here, which has like the min and gold and the navy with the hearts on. Just really, really pretty. And then this page as well. So I just thought there was a bargain with really pretty stuff in. And finally, I got the Dear Lizzie Saturday washi tape book. I have only papers from this collection. I have loads of papers from this collection. I got them on a bargain sale last year from another place. Um, so when I saw this, I thought I might as well pick it up. Now, this one is a little bit damaged at the backs. And I've just realised I forgot to include that in my email to Craftelia. Whoops. Um, it's not too much of an issue, really. And I'm not too fussed, to be honest. But yes, you can just see there the pretzels are quite fun. I love, I just, I think it's just a really, really lovely collection. I love the, the colours, like the pastels on those fruits and stuff. So just a helpful little thing to have to just enhance those papers that I already have. Then we have two of the Amy Tangerine Hustle and Heart 6x6 paper pads. One is Alice's, this one is mine. Um, we both uh, ordered stuff from both Hustle and Heart and um, Dear Lizzie Stargazer. Because we both ordered stuff from the Hey Little Magpie summer sale and got some bits from that collection and now we've just enhanced our collections of these two collections I say collection a lot in that past sentence um, by getting some more stuff from Craftelia so yes, both got 
the six by six paper pad. I love that paper so much. It's gorgeous with the hearts. And there's another heart one as well, which is uh, multicolored hearts, which is also gorgeous. So, oh, there it is. So beautiful. So yes, one for me, one for Alice. Another thing we got one each of is the Dear Lizzie Stargazer, uh, like the phrase thickers. These are chipboard ones with some foil accents, some copper foiling in. It's a very light copper though, like really light. In some lights, it's just gold. So it's a very subtle copper. By some chance, you're not into the whole copper foiling thing. But yeah, just really pretty things on there to use as titles and stuff. I do love a good hello adventure. I really love that font and that color. And on the other side, today is the day, count the stars. She's a wildflower and blissful. And I'd like all the little hearts and embellishments. Could do with some more of like those hearts. I just think they're gorgeous. But yes, so there is those. Then I also got this Dear Lizzie Lovely, was it Dear Lizzie Lovely Day was the collection? I'm not sure, but these are just called Lovely. Um, these thickers, same kind of thing really, just chipboard phrase thickers. There's a really loud motorcycle outside, I'm sorry if you can hear that, but yes. Live today, fine little day is weird, but I kind of like it, but I've just, I've never seen that phrase before on a scrapbooking thing. Don't grow up, it's a trap, hello. I don't like literally very much because it's one of those words that's so overused at the moment. But other than that, it's a really lovely pack and I love all the little floral embellishments. Could do with like just a whole pack of those really. Another one of Alice's purchases. This is the Amy Ta... Is this Sunshine and Good Times as well? Is it? I'm not sure. But anyway, this awesome, it's a puffy sticker kind of thicker. Obviously you've got the ombre colour effect there. But yes, I have these already, which is why I didn't buy them because they are so so lovely just yes please really so lovely for real i just yeah love those some more of alice's sunshine and good time purchases she got the six by six paper pad which i'm not going to open up obviously because it's hers but you can see on the front there what it includes it's slightly thinner than most six by six but that is because it is foiled so there's some really gorgeous foiling in here if i just sort of do a sneaky little you get an idea very pretty and she got the sticker book as well, which is eight pages, 162 stickers. Again, it's hers, so I'm not gonna open it up, but you can get an idea on the back there of what is inside, including that whole page of butterflies. Yes. A me item now. This is the Twilight by One Canoe Two six by six paper pad. I love One Canoe Two stuff. I don't have any full collections from them, but I do have lots and lots of bits and pieces and all of their collections actually work together really well. So yes, I wasn't fussed about getting lots and lots of stuff, but just a couple of that. Oh, that paper. I love it so much. But yeah, just a couple of bits just because I love the colors. I love the whole, yeah, pastel-y things and the muted and oh so pretty Alice again with dear Lizzie stargazer now I'm not going to flick through this one because it's hers and two because I got this myself in a recent haul from hey little magpie and I've already flicked through it but you can see on the front there the kind of patterns that's in this paper pad I got myself this bottle of Heidi Spot Color Shine in the color ocean I already have this color but I have it in the small bottle and it is starting to run low and it's one of my favourite colours of Heidi Swap Colour Shine. So I thought while I could and while it was on a really good sale, I would pick it up. It has, as you can see, leaked a little bit. And this happened the last time I got Heidi... Um, the, the, the last time I got Colour Shine from Craftelia. That was Alice's actually. But yes, it leaked that time as well. So yeah, I'm sure it's fine. It just needs a bit of a bit of a clean up and hopefully it just sprays okay and everything. Alice got herself some Tombow Mono Liquid glue apparently this is great i haven't tried it myself you'll have to ask alice how it goes and then before we get to papers we have a load of stamps so one stamp set is alice's she got the dear lizzie stargazer stamps i don't really know why i didn't get these for myself i think i was just at the point where i'd spent enough money kind of thing but they are some really really awesome stamps i particularly love that camera there so those are super cute and then stamps for grace we've got the pink paisley turn the page layer stamps i don't know why i haven't bought these before considering especially that turn the page is one of my most favorite collections ever yeah i don't know why i haven't got them before but i have them now and you can just get an idea on that little example there of what you're kind of supposed to do with them and layer up different colors and stuff so yes very excited about using these Four of these sort of little or long, the 50 by 130 millimeter Kazercraft stamps for Grace. I've got the wood grain one. I just thought this would be really useful in general mixed media things for backgrounds and stuff. I've got this botanical 
one where you've got like butterflies and a little floral cluster and then writing in the background. And I got these two. One is called Blossom and one is called Oriental Calligraphy. I got these because I have, I recently managed to get my hands on, thanks to a lovely, lovely person, um, the Hanami Garden collection or some of it from Kaiser Craft. And I thought these would go so, so well with them. My one thing about stamps like this or anything craft related like this is when it's in a language or a script or whatever that I can't read, I'm like, I kind of... I want to know what it says because I'm worried that I'm going to like stamp this on a layout and it says something along the lines of the person using the stamp is a total idiot, you know, I don't know what it says so as much as I like the look of it, it does make me a bit nervous, I don't know if anyone else has that or if that's me just being extra weird. Anyway, moving on, we now get into papers and there are lots and lots and lots of papers so I'm not going to do what I usually do and like describe the paper in a lot of detail otherwise we will be here for a very very long time. These papers I have in my hand are where the problem with the order lies. Basically, these are all papers where both Alice and I ordered one each of, and there's one I ordered three of, or I think this one I ordered two of just for me. Basically, multiples were ordered of the same paper, and they've only given us one of those papers. And also, there's one paper that's completely missing, and one paper that we didn't order at all. So, these are the problem ones. Um, the first is Dilizzy Stargazer Magical. This, I think I ordered two for myself, because I just think both sides are really, really beautiful. And I wanted to use both sides for a layout, so there should be two of those. This is Stargazer Falling Stars, and this is one of the ones where both Alice and I wanted it. So, yes, we've only got one at the moment. I'm just, I've got my phone next to me, I'm just waiting for them to email me back, like, hurry up and let me know what you're going to do about it. This isn't a bad review, by the way. All companies mess up, it's how they deal with the mess up is how you judge a company, if you know what I mean, so... Anyways, just annoying when things don't all go to plan, isn't it? Um, Stargazer Sun Setting, again, both Alice and I wanted one each of these. Oh wait, no, I wanted two of these, so I've ordered three of these and only received one because I wanted both sides. So yes, should be three of those, but there is only one. Then we have Hustle and Heart Click Click, again, one for me, supposed to be one for me, one for Alice, but at the moment there's only one. I'm guessing we both wanted to fussy cut those cameras. Hustle and Heart Floral Sensation, same situation with both Alice and I wanting it and only one being received. I do, I just really like that other side. I just think it's lovely. That's pretty enough and I would probably fussy cut those, but I, that for a background would be lovely as well. Hustle and Heart Cut It Out, again, We're supposed to have one each. Hopefully we eventually will do, but yes, lots of awesome things to cut out on there to use on your projects and layouts and such and I really love the other side of that as well is just that's really my thing on there really really and then there's this paper which neither of us ordered and I was just like what in the heck is this this is Jen Hadfield My Bright Life which is her new one I think and it's called Lovely Llamas and I was just looking at it like I definitely didn't order this because I don't like llamas and I don't think Alice would have ordered this either but yeah anyway it was sent to us in error it turns out because it is not on my invoice but anyways there's the random extra one and then there's another one that should be here but just isn't at all but let's now go into the the rest of the papers right so this is Alice's massive stack of papers I say massive stack we actually ordered the same amount of papers each not on purpose it just ended up that way so she has a stargazer happy a side and B side. I personally prefer the B side. Don't know about you, Alice. Uh, Stargazer Pretty Petals. Let's move that down so we're in shot. There we go. Here's the A side of that with the little birdies and the B side there with the grid. Stargazer Blissful with hexagons and shooting stars on one side and this side is so pretty. This B side with that wood grain effect and the little hearts. I really hope that's the side you're planning to use, Alice, because that's stunning. Hustle and Heart, pleased to meet you. I don't know why I didn't get that paper, because I really, really like that blue side. I mean, the other side is lovely as, as well, obviously. I would probably fussy cut those leaves personally, but that for a background is gorgeous. We've got Hustle and Heart, fit to be square, this lovely cut apart here, and the other side of this is also really, really pretty. You wouldn't think like a dark yellow and a light pink would work together, but they really, really do. And the cameras on the branding strip is fabulous. I already have this paper, which is why I didn't order it. 
And then she has a ton of papers from Sunshine and Good Times. So let's just breeze through these. We've got Officially Obsessed, Cut Apart there, and the B-side. I love that. Black and white. I'm a simple girl. I'm easily pleased by black and white. Shine Bright, sort of sunburst kind of effect with the diagonal of stripes. And then a blue dot on the back. This one is called Full Hour Power. Very bright and colourful, this one. I'm having trouble turning these over. <gasps> the other side, all pink with little sort of upside down teardrop kind of things. I don't know what to say, but it's pretty. This one is called Love You Bunches. And the B side, oh, I like that. Black with white plus signs. Yes, please. Next is Boba Buddy, like a Boba tea thing. There's lots of little Boba teas, basically. And then on the other side, again, it's a colour mix you would not think would work, but kind of strangely does. Very strange and pretty. Then we have Major Heart Eyes with loads of their little sunglasses, which are heart shaped. And then that side, I think, is really pretty. The, the lilac sort of grid, uneven grid kind of thing. Gorgeous. This one is called Yes Please. I mean, if I, if I was talking about what I was going to do with them, I would probably cut these little phrases out or something, but it ain't mine, so never mind. That's really lovely as well, that side. This one is called Tweet Tweet and it has loads of lovely little birdies on a mint green background. And then rainbows on the other side. Next is Sending Smiles. I'm running out of room to put these. Uh, I'm definitely not dropping your papers, Alice. No, that did not happen. Anyway, yes, Sending Smiles, floral clusters on the black background. And I like the green on the back. That's lovely. This one is called Be Happy, pretty self-explanatory, lots of lovely little bees on there. And then the other side is a yellow with loads of little ampersands. Next one is Flutterby. I really hope you are planning on fussy cutting these bad boys out, Alice, because that's just, look at all the fussy cutting opportunities there. The other side is quite fun as well. I do like that quite a lot. And then the last one for Alice is so fun from Sunshine and Good Times. I think this is a beautiful paper. I have no idea what I would do with it, but I think it's beautiful with the sewing machine and little spools of thread and um, tape measures and then florals in between are just lovely. And then a scattered dots on the background. All right then, now it's time for my papers. I've got Stargazer Make a Wish which I don't really remember putting in my basket. I think I'm gonna have to double check the invoice on that one because I don't think I ordered that. I mean, I might have done because of the mint background, but I don't know, because of the trouble, I'm just doubting everything, basically. Um, Stargazer Wildflowers, I just love those colors. The dark blue and the yellow and the teal is really pretty, as is the B-side with the, um, the brush stripe on the yellow. Stargazer Adventure, just a really, really nice cut apart there. I mean, I love the look of those numbers down the bottom, but I have absolutely no idea what I would do with them, but I just thought it was just pretty good. And then the other side has, um, what does it say? Be kind, be free, be you, be adventurous. It's probably supposed to start with be adventurous, be kind, be free, be you. But anyway, you get the point. Stargazer again, we've got Marigold Merriment. I'm just, I'm so easily pleased by like, I love brush strokey kind of things. I just, yeah, I like the look of it. And the other side, we've got another scattered dots, really, really tiny sort of greenish dots on a dark blue background. Stargazer Fresh Picked. I just thought this might be fun to fussy cut and use as, em and use as embellishments for, I don't know, something. I just don't know. I just thought it was fun. But I do like this other side as well with this. These really delicate little painted florals are very pretty too. Then into Hustle and Heart, I've got Stay Wild here, which is a really nice cut apart with postcards on. I just think those are lovely. But the B side is also just gorgeous. I'm going to be torn about that one because I think it's really, really stunning. If it turns out like the paper they haven't sent us is in, in stock or something, then I may ask for a second one of these instead because pretty. Then we've got Jungle of Love with the blue background and florals and tigers on, but I thought I bought it for this side because just like the little brush dabs. I'm not sure if they're black or just a really dark navy or if it's just my eyes messing up. I don't know, but pretty. Then a cut apart one, another cut apart. This is called The Little Things. I just think they're really lovely. I love these little banners, these long bits. Those I would cut up and use them like separately, like together on the same layout, but separate them, if that makes sense. Anyways, oh, B-side is paper clips. 
And another catapult. This one is called In a Row. I'm just really loving my long strips of things at the moment. I don't know what that's about, but I just, I use them quite a lot. And I really love the pies at the top and the tags at the bottom. They're fabulous. And the other side, again, is really, really pretty. I just like, you can see it just like it's been washed with a brush and you can see the brush strokes are just, oh, pretty lovely. Then I got Hustle and Heart Across the Waves just because obviously just this is very very me paper I just love love it I love it so much and I wish I got two because both sides are very very pretty wait back to stargazer we've got be free which has got the count the stars uh find true love the phrases like that in a sort of tealy color that fades out and then the b side has this I don't know what you would call that pattern but pink and a peachy color and I finally think this is the last Stargazer one. This is Satyr Yay! And just another really lovely cut apart to use there. I love the She's a Wildflower with the tent on. And the other side is really pretty as well. I, again, I don't know what you would call that pattern. Like it's slightly lacy, but not. I don't know. But the, the tone on tone green is very pretty. And then just four more. Worry not, we are nearing the end. I've got one canoe to Twilight Flight of Moths because obviously I just wanted to fussy cut the, this one because all the little little mothsies. Just thought that would look really, really, um, blah, blah, blah. be really handy for all my other one canoe two stuff just to sort of enhance it to have extra embellishments kind of thing. B side is very pretty as well. And then I have three papers from Paige Evans' Oh My Heart, which I know is a really old collection now, but I've just. I can't get enough of it. It's so lovely. And whenever I see any of it available, I pick it up because it's like, it's not going to be around forever. I mean, lots of it isn't already around now. So anyways, this one is paper 16. Lovely cut apart here. The other side as well is really pretty and would have been so good for a background. So slightly regretting not getting two of those. This one is paper 22 with a lovely floral on this side, but I bought it for this side with the uneven stripes in the two different greens. And then lastly, I got the uh, foiled paper from Oh My Heart. Again, another cut apart. I just thought, I just, just so easily enticed by things that are shiny, basically. So there it is. Okay then, so that was my haul. Well, mine and Alice's haul from Craftalia. I know I usually do the big thing at the end where I have everything in shot, but as I was filming, I was separating mine and Alice's stuff and I don't want to put it all back together again and have to separate it again. So yeah, sorry, I don't have that final shot, but yes. I will, of course, link the shop down in the description box. I won't be listing, linking all the separate items because, well, partly some of them are out of stock now, but also partly it's a lot of separate items to link. Please don't make me do that. I will keep you informed as to what happens with the uh, the error in the order. It may not happen by the time um, this video is published, but as I said, I'll put it in the description box, leave a pinned comment or something, just in case you're interested or you want to... You're wondering about ordering yourself, so you want to see how they deal with something like this, I suppose. So, yeah, I'll let you know on that front. But anyway, other than that, that's it. Quite a big one. So I hope you enjoyed. Please leave me a comment if you have anything to say. Maybe a thumbs up. It really, really helps me out. And other than that, I'm going. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.